السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم اقرأ بسم ربك الذي خلق خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى أن رآه استغنى إن إلى ربك رجعا صدق الله العظيم الحمد لله رب العالمين اللهم صل على سيدنا محمد وعلى آل سيدنا محمد الذي أرسل إلى كافة الثقلين وأنزل عليه القرآن الكريم أما بعد Respected brothers and sisters and innocent children with the grace of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, the most merciful, the most gracious, the most compassionate. Today, Allah has given me the privilege to talk about His beautiful, the most glorious book, Al-Quran al I would like to express my gratitude and thanks to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for allowing me to speak about his book, his words, his kalam. I also would like to express my gratitude to the beautiful organization known as Iqra, which is International Research, International Quran Research Academy. I should ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that Allah will bless and allow our brothers who will be working to promote the glorious book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and to see Allah's words and messages are spread around the world with a great motivation and great spirit. Dear brothers and sisters, Quran is the most special and most distinct, distinctive book that Allah has sent down or revealed to the mankind. In every sense we can see the beauty of the Quran is outstanding, it is clearly standing out. When we look and explore the nature of the previous scriptures and books, including Torah and al Injil, Zabur, we will see all of them are, subhanAllah, amazing books of Allah. But there are some very different, very interesting characteristics and aspects that we need to explore about the most glorious book, Al-Quran al Al-Kareem. Dear brothers and sisters, Al-Quran Al-Kareem, it was revealed not as a complete book at once. It was revealed over the course of 23 years. It was not revealed or given to the Prophet وسلم, as a paper format or other material format book, but it was spoken or revealed to the Prophet وسلم, through the medium of the angel Jibreel. وسلم. If we look at a Torah, the Torah was given as a one set of copy. But that is not the case about the Quran. The Quran was spoken to Jibreel alayhi salam, to our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The Quran was memorized after the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read out to his beloved companions, the most dedicated companions known as Ashab or Sahaba of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They memorized it. 
basically the Quran's preservation, the Quran's uh, spreading, Quran's protection that was not dependent on the return materials, rather it was depending on the memorization of so many companions of the Prophet and furthermore by so many believers even today and until the Yawm al Qiyamah, the millions of people, regardless of their languages, even though the Quran was revealed in pure Arabic, in Arabian Mubin, in clear, pure Arabic, the language in the Arabic language, the Quran was revealed. But it is the distinctive, very different, a, a unique a quality, a unique feature of the Quran that even those who do not have much idea about the language of Arabic, they memorize this book because they believe and they are convinced and they have strong hope and faith that by memorizing the Quran, regardless of whether they understood or not, regardless of their languages, they all strongly and firmly believe and they respect and honor and those children, very young children, they memorize the entire 30 volumes of the beautiful Quran, not one or two millions of people. And that is a unique feature. That is a unique characteristic of our glorious book of Quran that no other book can ever claim or can ever manage to. If we look at other scriptures, check about how many people have memorized them hardly anyone. Yes, I do not argue that if you look at which book is the most printed out or most sold or most distributed freely, I definitely I have no argument. It could be given to some other books, including the Bible or some other scriptures. But we as Muslims, we do not have any claim over that. However, we will say if you look at the most memorized book in the, in the world, that is definitely the glorious book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Quran al -Kareem. And also, let us take which book is the most recited in individuals in human life. Yes, we will see the portions of the Quran are being recited daily, so many different times by so many believers. And I can assure you, five times a day and more, that the believers, they read portions of the Qur'an. Definitely, they have to read Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter from the book of Qur'an. So imagine billions of Muslims around the world, when they pray, they read the Surah Al-Fatiha, the opening chapter. And that actually again supports my point that the Qur'an is the most recited book in the world, even interestingly. Many of them do not even know the meaning of it, but they still read because just unlike any other book, the Quran offers not just the messages, not just the understandings. The power of the Quran stands in the recitation itself. The Quran is unique because just by reciting, by reading, even without understanding, it offers incredible rewards. When the Messenger of Allah وسلم, said, that man qara'a harfa min al-Qur'an falahu ashra amthaliha. That whoever recites even one letter from the Qur'an, that person would enjoy a minimum of 10 rewards or 10 merits, hasanat from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Then he said that, I would not say that alif lam mim is one letter. No, even alif is a separate letter, lam is another letter, mim is another letter. Like that for each letter, the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam offers unique rewards of 10 hasanat. Even without understanding, one can read that. SubhanAllah, it is a, an exclusive and unique credit of the Qur'an. No other book can claim. So millions of people or billions of Muslims around the world throughout the centuries have been reading the portions of the book regardless whether they understand or not. That is the unique feature of the Qur'an. My dear brothers, now let us look at the revolution and reformation that the Qur'an has brought to this world, to the mankind. 
it is incredible extremely incredible because the quran was revealed or quran was active uh, on this planet to earth at a time when the dark the world was plunged into utter darkness complete darkness and evil was everywhere around the world prevailing that time at the very heart of the quran uh, location that was Mecca al Mukarramah. That was the Arabian Peninsula. Subhanallah, over there, the people, mankind was plunged into all time bottom level, lowest level of morality. They did not have any humanistic qualities. Subhanallah, Allah's book, Allah's book, Rabbi Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, brought the mankind with the Allah's book of Quran out of darkness into the proper beautiful light of guidance the quran is so powerful at a time when men when people regarded girls life as very um you know um taboo a birth of a baby girl that was extremely disturbing to her to her own parents and the parents or the dad will be the one who will bury the baby alive but the quran brought the change just with a single verse when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said in the Quran, that when one of them gets the information, a good tiding of uh, when that parent, when the father was informed that you have a baby girl, girl born to you, subhanallah, that dad, instead of expressing the happiness, celebrating the birth of that beautiful girl, that dad will be so saddened, so upset, so disappointed to see a baby girl. And that dad will proceed with killing and burying her, his own baby with his own hands. Look how cruel, how least to mourn, how evil that society could be. And the Quran came to them, bring them out of that darkness into the light. And subhanAllah, Quran put an end to it. Which other book has this powerful impact of revolution on human societies and minds? And furthermore, you will see a community, a, a, a society that was completely addicted to the conception of alcohol, heavily com uh, uh, addicted. SubhanAllah, even in today's world, we can see governments from governments. So many countries, they invest huge amounts of money from the taxpayers' uh, money, from the budget. They just dedicated to address the issues related to alcohol. Yet the governments fail. Yet the org human organizations fail to make any significant change to the culture of alcoholism. But the Quran, SubhanAllah, to a community that was so deeply addicted into alcohol, to an extent that the historian says that one of them, when he dies, he would make a will, he would leave a will, not about his family, or his children, or his wealth, but some of them would leave the will that when I die, you should plant, my children, you should come and plant a sapling of wine, sapling of grape next to my grave, so, so that I can suck from the root of that uh, uh, that grape sapling or grape tree, subha grape plant. Subhanallah, you can, you can look at how deeply they were attached and connected to alcohol, to that community when the Quran brought, when the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam read out them around the three verses prohibiting gradually the conception of alcohol, completely that changed that reformed, that revolutionized, subhanAllah, that community given up, they stopped drinking at a time when they were about to put the cups of alcohol into their mouth, into their zip, subhanAllah, when they heard the verses from the Quran asking Fajitanibu that you should stop drinking it, subhanAllah, they said that in Tahina, that we stopped, Ya Allah, we stopped it. Now that was the impact of the Quran. That was the power, unique power of the Quran. Which other book, which other ideology can ever change, can ever bring this much revolution? Quran has brought it. Subhanallah, 
Al-Quran, Al-Quran Al-Karim has got so many, so many amazing features. It will never, a person will never get tired or fed up with listening to the Quran. Which other book can offer not just the messages or meanings like the Torah or like the Indian that used to offer only the messages. That's why it can be translated. It can be perfectly translated. But even out of that translation, many of those books got corrupted because translation has an inevitable chance of getting corrupted. That is why other books do not, many of their followers or readers don't even know what was the original language of those books. But subhanallah, the Quran has been preserved in its original pure language of Arabic. That was another unique miracle of the Quran. No matter which language it gets translated to, it will remain with Arabic alone in order to preserve its originality. Yes, many other books can claim the most translated books in the world can be Bible. It can be any other book, but never Quran because it is not the pride of the Qur'an. The pride of the Qur'an is when it remains in its original language of the Qur'an, the language that in which the Qur'an was revealed and sent down, and that was Arabic, subhanAllah, pure Arabic. And that gets preserved and that gets protected. In like this, when you look at all the uniqueness, you can find the Qur'an is very unique. Even today, that uh, the original script manuscript of the Quran has been preserved around the world. And interestingly, the, the oldest manuscript that was written by the very uh, closest companions, immediate companions of the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that very original manuscript is found, discovered and preserved, not necessarily in the very land of the Quran, which is Mecca al mukarramah or Saudi or Yemen or other Muslim countries. But it is a miracle that is protected in the very country of the non-Muslim country that is the United Kingdom in Britain, Birmingham University or Birmingham Museum, the manuscript of the Quran that has been protected and preserved and that has been recently revealed, subhanAllah, as it was returned in parchments, just with the hands, the blessed hands of the very close or the first immediate companions of the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So Quran is, in every sense, it is unique, untouched, unchanged, unmodified, remaining always evergreen, ever shiny, ever glorious, ever illuminating book of Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, continues to mold and reform the hearts and minds of so many thousands of people just by listening just the, the, the melodious tune of the Qur'an, it is its nature. When a reciter, when a qali read that beautiful book of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, is it a poem? Not at all. Is it a song? Not at all. Is it a nasir? Not at all. Yet it offers the melodious beauty of listening to it, reciting it. That is the power of the Qur'an subhanAllah. My dear brothers and sisters around the world, when this, Austra when this international uh, Quran Research Association, IPRA, when it promotes the Quran, and when other organizations promote the Quran, go for it. Support them. Support them so that this Quran, you will be, we will be part of the Quran in preserving it, in protecting it, in maintaining it. And remember, it is not, uh, it, 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 is, it doesn't depend on me and you. The Quran will be protected. And it is a word, a promise, a declaration from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inna nahnu nazzalna dhikra wa inna lahu lhafirun. That indeed we have revealed, we have sent down this Qur'an and we will be the, the, the ones that are protecting the Qur'an. Allah will protect this Qur'an until the yawm al-qiyamah. However, for you and me to get the rewards and to get the merits of supporting this beautiful Qur'an, Go for it, support it. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep this society, keep this nation of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa always proud and prospering and always spiritually growing up with the help of Allah through the messages and beauty of the Quran. And I wish all the best to the organizers of Iqra 
uh, International Co and Research Academy. All the best. May Allah give you full strength and support. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.